Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create this eye. Let's open a new document. First we'll create these lines. Press the backslash key on your keyboard for the line segment tool or select it from the toolbar panel and draw a straight line. Then open the stroke panel and increase its weight to about 7 points. Now open the width profile pull down menu and select the width profile number 1. Next we'll rotate this part around the circle and create extra copies. Go to Effect, Distort and Transform and choose Transform. Turn on the preview box to better see what we are doing. Change the copies to about 12, then highlight the number in the angle window and press the up arrow key on your keyboard several times. You can always adjust those values to your personal preference. Bring the stroke to the front and change its color to any shade you would like to use for the eye. Now go to the Layers panel and open the sub-layers. Next we'll create several copies of this line and apply different effects to them. First go to Effect, Distort and Transform and choose Zigzag. Now adjust the values. Let's create another line. Just click on the existing line and drag it into the Create New Layer icon at the bottom. Give it a different color. Then press the letter R for the Rotate tool. This will place the rotation point in the center of the line. And now click on the top anchor point and drag. Make sure both lines are selected and create two extra copies. Select the third layer from the bottom, then go to Effect, Distort and Transform and choose Twist. Change the angle to about 13 degrees and click OK. Now apply a different color to it. Select the above layer, go to Effect, Distort and Transform, choose Twist and this time change the angle to negative 13. Then apply a different color. Now select everything, go to Object and choose Expand Appearance. Let's hide the edges to better see the lines. To do this, press the Ctrl and H keys on your keyboard. Don't forget to turn them back on when you are done. Right click with your mouse, choose Ungroup and repeat this step one more time. Next we'll change the scale and the rotation of the existing lines. Go to Object, Transform and choose Transform each. Change the horizontal and vertical scale to 70%, choose Random from the options and change the angle to about 4 degrees. With everything still selected, press the Ctrl and G keys on your keyboard to group it together. Next we'll create the outside circle. Select the fill and change its color. Now draw a circle that is just a little bigger than the length of the lines. Let's align them to the center. Press the Ctrl and A keys on your keyboard to select everything. Now open the Align panel, make sure Align to Selection is checked and choose Horizontal and Vertical Align Center. Next open the Gradient panel, choose White and Black Gradient, change the type to Radial and change the White Color Stop to a color of your choice. 
Now open the transparency panel and change the blending mode to Hue. You can experiment with different blending modes and see what works for you. Next we will add more lines. First switch to the Ellipse tool and draw a circle. Now change its color, then go to Effect, Distort and Transform and choose Roughen. Adjust the values and click OK. Let's move this layer to the bottom. Change its blending mode to Hue and turn down the opacity to about 56%. Now select the layer with the big circle, open the gradient window and adjust the gradient. Experiment with adding different colors, changing the color stops location, adjusting the hue, brightness or saturation. Now adjust the bottom layer as well. Play with the opacity and different blending modes, color and see what works for you. Next we will add more details to our iris. Select the layer with the lines we've created at the beginning and let's duplicate it. Now select the copied lines and rotate it just a tiny bit. Next go to Effect, Blur and choose Gaussian Blur. Set the radius to 4 pixels. Now move this copied layer below the original one. Let's create a copy of this copied layer. Rotate it and adjust the opacity. Next we'll create a pupil. Select the top layer with the big circle and create an extra copy. Scale it down and change the blending mode to normal. Now open the swatches window and use black. Let's copy this layer. Select the bottom black circle. Scale it up just a little bit and change its color. Now go to Effect, Blur, Gaussian Blur and adjust the radius. Let's scale it down. Select the layer with the big circle, open the gradient panel and adjust the color if needed. Now adjust the color of the small circle as well. If you wish, you can always come back to any of the layers and adjust them individually. Experiment with color, hue, saturation, opacity, rotation, just be creative. I'm going to speed up this video, but you should take as much time as you need. Finally, we will add some highlights. Select the big circle and create a copy. Now go to layers and move the selected copy to the top. Change the blending mode to normal. Go to swatches and choose white. Now open the gradient panel. Choose white and black gradient and set the type to radial. Select the black color stop and change it to white. Now turn down the opacity to 0%. Let's adjust the shape by using the pen tool or the curvature tool. If you would like to learn more about the curvature tool, please check out my other tutorial. I've included a link to it in the description. 
Now move this layer below the black pupil layer and below the small blue circle layer. And adjust the gradient. Finally, we will create this small light effect. First, switch to the ellipse tool, click on the edge of the pupil and draw a small circle. Let's bring the tab edge down and rotate it. Now adjust the gradient. If you still need to make any changes, open a desired layer and adjust it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.